idea gave Porto the lead in the 58th minute. Despite the worried looks, Hugo Sanchez chested the ball into goal to level terms in the 81st minute. Real needed a winner to have any advantage in the second leg, and it came in the final minute from Sanchez. The final score, Real Madrid 2, Porto 1. In the second minute. Until then, Dinamo had done nothing out of the box. Seemingly sluggish after finishing seventh in the league. And the question was whether Graham Roberts' foul on Mikalichenko was inside the area. The referee, right on the spot, said yes. And the penalty, converted by the foul player, saved Dinamo from embarrassment. Dinamo, who did well by eliminating Celtic from the European Cup last season, will need much improvement if the slender 1-0 lead is to be enough in the return leg. Meanwhile, it was an unusually quiet evening at the Bernabeu in Madrid, where Real Madrid met Napoli. With the spectator lockout, only a handful of officials watched as Madrid struggled against the Italian champions. Without their Mexican superstar, Hugo Sanchez out suspended, even the taking of penalties were a risk, although Michel made no mistake with this one. The slender lead stayed until the 76th minute, when Madrid went further ahead, but only by a stroke of luck. Michel's corner was fired toward goal by Tendillo, but made it into the net only thanks to a double deflection and Madrid will have its work cut out in the second leg. While another West German team, Bayern Munich in red, slumped to the shock defeat of the round, losing 2-0 at home to Inter Milan. Wolfhardt bungled the Bundesliga leader's first chance in front of an expectant crowd of 70,000. And they were subjected to yet more suspense when Dorfner's shot hit the bar in the second half. Although Bayern couldn't believe their bad luck, it was the Italians who looked the more dangerous with their counter-attacks. And when Bayern inadvertently headed into Aldo Serena's path, the home side were caught out by their own offside trap, and a great individual goal made it 1-0 to Inter Milan. Still luck wasn't with the Germans, and Johnny Ekstrom could only look on in dismay as his effort was stopped first by Enger, and then cleared off the line by Bogomi. But it was the Italian league leaders who cashed in on their opponent's errors yet again in the 71st minute. This time, Nicola Berti was allowed to intercept a pass and took it all the way upfield in a brilliant solo run to make it 2-0. There wasn't even a consolation goal for the Reds. Algenthaler controlled Reuters' header, but without any power, it was cleared off the line. And Bayern faced an uphill task in the second leg in Italy. in eight minutes from Bayern Munich shocked Italian heavyweights into Milan earning the West Germans an unexpected place in the quarterfinals the Italians won the first leg away 2-0 and who would have predicted a Bayern fight back in the second match in the 32nd minute Wolfarth had made it 1-0 and just four minutes later Augenthaler equalized the aggregate scores with a brilliant header The 75,000 crowd at the San Siro Stadium was stunned. And they were completely silent soon after, as Ekstrom set up Jürgen Wegman for goal number three. This goal was easily the best of the match, although interkeeper Zenga tried his best to stop Wegman. Inter, so assured in their first leg, regained their composure with an Aldo Serena goal just before half-time, levelling the aggregate scores at 3-3. Inter now had the ideal incentive, and they were unlucky not to score a second goal. In the dying stages, Inter Milan again came close and their claims for a goal fell on deaf ears. And Bayern went through on the away goals rule. The final score, Bayern 3, Inter 1.